Hey, I'm John, and today I'm going to show you how to do your first test print on the longer LK5 Pro 3D printer. I'm also going to walk you through the process of how to load filament. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm already recording a video, so I might as well include that as well. The filament spool is going to go on to the spool holder, and then you're going to route the filament through this section right here. Where that little circuit is, there is a hole. The filament's going to go through that hole and come out in between those two wheels. The gold wheel, when the printer is running filament, will spin, and it's got little teeth on it that grip the filament and push it through to the Bowden tube. Your printer should have came with a filament guide and a little extra tube. You're going to put that tube into the filament guide and then you're going to attach that to the printer right by the spool holder and that's going to help guide the filament into the filament feed. Next you're going to put the spool of filament onto the filament holder. You're going to route the filament through that little tube and then through the filament guide and then you're going to put it through that little hole that's under that circuit that I showed you earlier into the actual filament feed mechanism. Once you've got the filament ready to load, you're going to go to your home screen, hit utilities, hit filament, and click the load button. Once you hit the load button, those wheels are going to start to turn and it's going to start to pull that filament through. Now, if you let it do this on its own, it's going to take a really long time to feed that filament through. So what I recommend is to squeeze those two little ends on the end of the spring that's attached to your filament loading mechanism and kind of help push it through the Bowden tube. Once you start to see filament coming through the nozzle, you're loaded and ready to go. Now it's time to print. So you just go to your home page, you go to print, and the memory card should have came with a few test things to print. And you can kind of go through those, decide what you want to do. I'm going to print 3D Benchy for this example. While you're watching a time lapse of 3D Benchy print, now's a great time if you're enjoying this video to drop a comment, give me a like, and subscribe to my channel. And if you're feeling in the mood, even go ahead and hit that little bell for notifications. Now you've printed your first test file, but you want to go find other stuff on the internet and start printing that too. So how do you do that? The first step is going to be to take the memory card that came with the printer and the little adapter and put the memory card in the adapter and plug it into your computer. That's going to open up and have a bunch of files on it. One of the files is called Cura. That is a program that will allow you to slice STL files and turn them into G-code files and print them. Now my memory card didn't come with the most recent version of Cura, so I wanted to go ahead and go get the more recent version. So I just went to Google, typed in Ultimaker Cura, went to their website, downloaded the most recent version. Before you launch Cura, there's some files that you're going to need to copy from your memory card over to the, the Cura file on your computer. On the memory card, open up the folder called Cura, and then you're going to go to either Mac or Windows, and then you're going to find that resources folder and you're going to copy it. Once you've got that folder copied, you're going to go to whatever drive you installed Cura on, Program Files, Ultimaker Cura, and then you're going to paste that resources file into this folder. Once you've got that file copied over, you're ready to open up Cura, go through all the basic setup stuff, and then you're going to get to a screen that says Add Printer. Add a non-networked printer, and then go scroll down and find the longer LK5 Pro. You can keep all the default settings and then just go ahead and hit next. Now you've got Cura set up and ready to go and the next step is to go find something to print. So I've got three kind of favorite websites to go find free STL files to print. The first one's called Printables and 
you can see the home page here you've got a ton of different stuff that you can explore you can search they've got categories you can create an account and save prints they've got descriptions access to all of the different files they've got examples of people that have already printed the stuff if they decide to upload that sort of thing uh, printables is just a wonderful website and it's a wonderful resource to help you find prints that when you're new and don't know how to make your own stuff yet. The other two sites that I like are called Thangs, T-H-A-N-G-S, and Thingiverse, and they're pretty much the exact same thing as printables. You can search, you can browse, you can download files, you can make an account and save projects, and so they're kind of just the exact same thing, but some people have a preference to upload their stuff to different sites, and so this just makes sure that you have access to as much as possible. Once you've found something that you want to print, you download the STL file and open that up in Cura. Once it's open in Cura, you can move it around a little bit and just kind of inspect it if you want. This also will help in the future if you need supports and things like that. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go into the settings and you want to change one setting that's defaulted in Cura, and that's under build plate adhesion. By default, it has it as a raft. I've found that the rafts are a huge waste and that you probably would be just fine with a skirt. Once you've done that, you're going to click slice and let Cura slice the file. Cura is then going to tell you how long it's going to take, how much filament it's going to use, and you can hit that save to removable drive button and then it will save it to the dr jump drive plugged into your computer and then you'll want to eject that drive. And that's it. Now you're ready to plug that memory card into your printer, go back to your print, find the file that you just saved, hit the print button, and let it go. While you're watching a time lapse of this shark print, now is a great time to go down to the comments below and let me know what type of 3D content you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, and until next time.